Welcome to Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Luigi Fontana, Professor of Medicine and the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center Royal Prince Alfred Clinic of the University of Sydney. Light pollution is literally skyrocketing. A new study published in Science shows the brighter the night sky, the brighter a star must be to be seen by the unassisted human eye. Analysis of data from 2011 to 2022 show that the sky brightness resulting from artificial light is increasing exponentially in the world with an alarming average of 10% each year. That means that it's doubling in less than eight years. This is huge because uh, of the negative effects of light pollution that range from ecological to cultural and health related. A growing number of people spend their days and nights immersed in artificial light both within and outside their homes. They spend most of their free time watching TV or their smartphone screen till late at night. They are totally disconnected from natural life. When was the last time you looked up into the sky at the stars? Nature deficit disorders, for example, describe the human cost of alienation from the contemplation of the amazing beauty of the universe and nature. Artificial light in all its forms weakens our ability to use our senses and promotes attention deficits and higher rates of emotional, mental, spiritual and possibly even metabolic diseases. Moreover, Without a strong and recurring contemplative connection to nature, human beings fail to see how connected nature is to our lives, to our water and food sources, our environment, environment and climate, and ultimately to our quality of life. The art of contemplation of nature is medicine for the soul. Contemplating a sky blanketed by millions of stars, for example, should reconnect us with the ancestral forces that have shaped and are shaping life in the universe. After all, we are made of stardust. Yes, stardust. So the billions of people populating this planet may think that to be all different from each other, in reality, we share a common heritage. From the carbon in our DNA to the iron in our blood cells and calcium in our bones, all of the elements in our bodies were forged during the implosion and then explosion of supernovas. There is evil and disorder in the world, only because people have forgotten that everything emanates from one source. Again and again, we should immerse in contemplation deep into nature and into these primordial forces, leaving behind all those individualistic and selfish thoughts the hedonistic and futile desires and the destructive emotions of en envy, anger and fear. After all, we should always remember that those who are possessed by nothing possess everything. Thank you for listening, as always. This is Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. I'm Professor Luigi Fontana, the Scientific Director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic and of the Longevity Program of the University of Sydney 
and a clinical academic in the Department of Endocrinology of the Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney, Australia.